Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you how I plan and outline a case. Planning is as important as writing. I would even say that planning is more important. If you don't allocate sufficient time for planning, you may not identify all the requirements or you may miss important information in the case. Your response may not achieve a competent grade. Some people choose to do the outline on paper. Some people like to do the outline on computer. Personally, I like to do my outline on my computer. My outline is a framework that becomes part of my response. I would start by identifying the date, my role, users, and their objectives. The date is important because an issue may occur before or after the financial statement date, and the treatment would be different. For the requirements I identified during planning, I put those as headings in my outline. For example, and I'm totally making this up, let's say the first requirement is an audit planning memo, and the other requirements are financial reporting issues. For important case facts that I identified during planning, I put those directly in my outline to ensure I don't miss it. For example, maybe the audit partner only requests the risk approach and materiality. Maybe there are new users and transactions that may impact risk assessment. Maybe this is a long-time client and we used a combined approach in the prior year. You need to read the case and identify the important and relevant information. Don't start writing at this point. For financial reporting issues, I would create a set of headings and then just copy and paste it to each of the financial reporting issues. Here is an example. This way, I don't have to type this multiple times. Also, this provides a consistent format for my analysis. When I'm under time pressure, I may forget to conclude on the financial statement impact. Doing the headings ensure that I don't miss any important components. You need to consider your users' objectives. Their primary focus or concern may not always be net income. For example, it could be current ratio, IPO impact, valuation impact, etc. Please review the case carefully. And if you're not familiar with the issue analysis recommendation approach, you can watch my video on financial reporting AOs. You can find the link in the description. After you identify the requirements, you should allocate time to each AO. For a 60-minute case, usually there may be five or six assessment opportunities. They may not take up equal amounts of time. Some AOs are more complex. If possible, allocate a few minutes at the end for a quick review and spelling check. If your response contains too many typos or spelling errors, it will make it difficult for the exam marker to review your response. Being able to allocate sufficient time to each identified requirement is a case writing skill that you will develop during your CPA journey. Debriefing is important. It allows you to reflect on whether you spend enough or too much time on a requirement. If you spend too much time on one requirement, you may not have time to address the other requirements. As you can see in my example, my outline becomes part of my response. During writing, I just need to fill in the details. I personally like doing my outline directly on my computer in my response, as I don't have to type the information twice. I know some people prefer to do an outline on paper, Please use whatever approach you are comfortable with. The objective is to create a detailed plan that forms the framework for your response. You can try different approaches during the core one module when you do the weekly practice cases and choose an approach that works best for you. Thank you for watching this video. I wish you all the best with your CPA journey.